hello in this video continuing uh, writing equation of a line uh, if you have seen my last video uh, we wrote the equation of this line passing through 0 2 and 1 3 and uh, the equation that we are using is y is equal to mx plus c okay so this is again the next line so before writing the equation of the line first uh, decide what's the starting point or this is the y-intercept so let me write so the equation that we're going to use is y is equal to mx plus c where m is the gradient which is defined as the rise over run okay and gradient c is called the y intercept or where your graph cuts your cuts the y axis okay so here i can see the graph of, uh, of this line is intersecting one on the y axis so i can say m sorry c is one okay c is one c is very easy to decide here just look where the line cuts the y axis so that's one now to find the gradient you have to look you have to calculate what's the rise and what's the run so i'll draw an arrow i'm going to join these two points uh, so let me join from left to right okay now before that i keep forgetting now to before writing the gradient which is m m is rise over run you should have a sense of what that answer would be not the exact number but whether it's positive or negative. Now, when you're looking at the gradient of any line, you're looking at from left to right, whether it's going up or down. So this is your left and this is your right. Hopefully you know what's left and right. So from left to right, if you look from left to right, the line is sloping up, okay? Or it is steeping up, so it has a cut I can say this has got a positive gradient. I don't know what that number is, but I can surely say that the answer should be plus or positive. So to decide the gradient, you join two points in any order from this to this or from this to this. We will do both ways. Okay, so this is this is the horizontal run and this is a vertical so if you join them so this is i join them by writing by an arrow so the run is from zero to one okay so when you're looking uh, the run what's the horizontal distance that it ha you have to travel from year to year so the run is to the right okay the run is to the right so as we as i discussed by convention if it's if you're going to the right it's positive so the run is one and what's the rise rise is again you're going up okay so from this is one to three so the run is two so the rise is rise is two and the run is one so the gradient is two over one which is two <clears throat> so the equation of this line is nothing but two x plus one just like that now if you have a graphic calculator uh, you can always check your answer <clears throat> so get your calculators out and go to your graph menu this is your graph menu let's go to run if you want menu and go to graph and type in the equation which is 2x plus 1 so let me delete this so 2x plus 1 just to check whether the equation that I have written is right or wrong and then graph it so this is your graph and to check your y-intercept you go g-sol and this is f4 is for y-intercept so f4 so the intercept is 0 1 and I want to check whether when x is 1 is y 3 so you go g-sol y-calc and x is 1 y is 3 okay so your equation that you have written is 
perfect there's no problem okay let us look at the next graph yeah you have these two points four so let me write the coordinate of this point so the coordinate is zero always you write the x coordinate first so this point is related with zero on the x-axis and four on the y-axis so this point is called zero four and this point is related with four on the y axis sorry x axis <coughs> and zero on the y axis this point is called zero four okay now the gradient is when you're looking at the gradient first decide whether the gradient is positive or negative so tell me whether it's positive or ne negative uh, for that what you have to do is from left to right is it going down or up so from left to right the line is going down so the gradient has to be negative okay now i'm going to join these two points uh, like this so this is okay so let me run first and this is the rise okay uh, so let me delete this so we know that the gradient is negative so now think about it what's the run for run are you going to the right or to the left okay for run we are going to the right so the run you're running from zero to four so the run is four and what's the rise is the rise going up or down you're going from here down so the rise has to be negative so the uh, rise is from 4 to 0, which is negative 4. Negative 4. Okay. So the y-intercept C, C is the, so let me write the equation again. Y is equal to mx plus C, where C is the y-intercept. So C is 4. Okay. M is rise over run. In some books, they say it is slope. They mean the same thing rise over rise it's not rise over rise it's rise over run so your run rise is negative four and your run is four which is negative one now you may think what happens if i join like this if you join from here if you run run first and then so this is your rise and this is your run what happens if you join like this would it make any difference so let's see whether it makes so this is your your rise rise is nothing the same thing rises from 4 to 0 is negative 4 and your run is from 0 to 4 which is 4 the formula doesn't make any difference rise over run so minus 4 over 4 is negative 1 so the equation of this line is minus 1x plus 4 just like that or y is equal to minus x plus 4 you can check this on a calculator and see whether it's right okay let me look at the next question here so this point is 4 comma 2 and this point you can say 0 comma 4 so let me join this uh, like this Okay, so what's the y-intercept? Your C, which is your y-intercept, is, this is 2, 3, 4, sorry, this is 5. This is 0, comma 5. Okay, so y-intercept is, C is 5. Let me write the equation again, y is equal to mx plus C. So your C is your y-intercept, which is 5. And m is rise over run so your rise is you're going down okay as i told you again before writing the equation you can say that the gradient has to be negative because from left to right it's sloping down so rise is from five to five to two so you or you can count one two three so your rise is negative three and your run is from zero to four which is to the right okay so you're running to the right so it's positive so it is 4 okay 
So this is nothing but 0 point, negative 0 0.75. So the equation is negative 0 0.75x plus 5. This can also be written as minus 3x over 4. I'll show you both ways so that you uh, some students get confused in this, these two forms. So let me show you in both the ways. They are one and the same. So, so go to graph, exit, delete this first. So let me write negative 0.75x plus 5. Am I right? Yeah. Plus 5 and then execute. Okay, so let me scroll this to this side scale bigger so that you can see so g sol and y intercept which is f4 which is 0 5 and when x is 4 y should be 2 so g sol y calc when x is 4 y is 2 now what happens if you type in uh, 3 minus 3 over 4 x is nothing but minus 3 x divided by 4 like this you can write plus 5 the same graph again to confirm y intercept is 0 5 and y calc when x is 4 is 2 okay so there are two ways in which you can write this equation they are one and the same okay now this is slightly different here the scales are different you have to be very careful that the scales on the x-axis it's going up in 1 and on y-axis is going up in 20s okay so the scale is not uh, the same on x and y axis. So let me write the equation y is equal to mx plus c is the equation of a line. Your c is 40 here. Okay, your c is 40. Your m, which is your gradient, is rise over run. So think about it whether it's positive or negative. Rise over rise. I keep writing rise over rise, rise over run okay now from left to right what's happening to the line is is it going up or down from left to right from left to right it's going up it has so it has got a positive gradient so let me join like this so this is your run and this is your rise okay so your run this is your run so you're running to the right so the run is positive so you're running from 0 to 6. So your run is 6. Your rise is very, be careful here. You're not rising 2 here. You're rising in 20s. Okay. So this is 20, 40. Your rise is 40. Okay. Or 80 minus 40 is also 40. Okay. So be careful when you have different scales on both the axes. So your rise is positive because you're going up which is 40 that is 40 over 6 which is 20 over 3 okay so the equation of the line would be y is equal to 20 x over 3 plus 40 so this is the equation of the line okay so let us check this on the calculator so for here we'll have to change the scale of the graph so first let me type in the equation y is equal to 20x divided by 3 plus 40 it goes like that now before graphing it you have to change the scale so go shift f3 which is v window your scale is from say minus 1 look at the scale minus 2 to 8 on x-axis so minus 2 execute to 8 scale of 1 that's fine don't change the dot the so y-axis is say from minus 40 to 120 whatever graph shows you can and what's your scale it's not in 1 it's in 20s okay and then you draw the graph here we go and g sol y intercept when x is 0 y is 40 and when x is 6 y is 80 that's what i want to check so j sol y calc when x is 6 
y is 80. Okay, that's confirmed when x is 6, y is 80. Okay, let me do one more question to finish it off. So here, again, the scales are different on x and y axis. So again, writing the equation y is equal to mx plus c. This is your y-intercept. So your c is 80. And your gradient here. So again, as I always keep telling, always decide whether it's the gradient is positive or negative. So here I can, by looking at the graph, I can say the gradient has to be negative because it's sloping down. So let me join this uh, like this. Okay. So this is your run, rise, and this is your run. Okay. So what's your what's your rise? Rise is is it going up or down? It's going down. So you have to write a negative number. So here this is rising from 80 to 0. So this is minus the rise of minus 80. Minus is only telling me that it's going down. And the run is positive because you're going to the right. Run is from 0 to 10. So the run is 10. So gradient is rise over run. Always good to write the formula rise over run which is minus 80 over 10 which is minus 8 so the equation is y is equal to minus 8x plus 80 okay i always want to check my answer if you have the calculator always use it to check your answer so just delete the equation sorry exit delete yes I want to type in minus 8x plus 80. Okay, my scale should be, let me look at the scale, so execute. Oh, yeah, the scale is fine. Okay, what was the scale? Scale is from 0 to, so minus 8 to, let me make it up to 12. Uh, scale of 2. Don't in the dot, it is from minus 20 to 120 scale of 20. That's fine. Here we go. So G solve. And you can find the Y intercept like this. And when X is 0, so when X is 10, Y is 0. This is also called a root. Okay, so G solve, Y calc, when X is 10, Y is 0. That's your x-intercept in other words. This is one of the longest videos that I have made. See you in the next video.